So today I'm just experimenting with the newest craft that's gonna go in the craft box. So we have some of these different ones that we're gonna try and rip up. And then I created this adorable little <laughs> sheet that basically you and the kids get to choose what if any of these you want and then you just cut out the ones you want to put on after you do these. So basically, we'll put this over here for now. And I'm gonna do these ones first. And then you get just like the Mod Podge glue, which will be included, whether it's, you don't need a full bottle, so we're gonna see how much we really need. All right, so the way I do it is, I'm gonna put all these to the side. We're gonna rip little pieces. And then you're just gonna put them all over here. In whatever random order, that's kind of the fun of it. So this is a messier one, and you can use your hands inside to turn it if you don't wanna you know, touch it, but either way. You're just gonna kinda put out your little bit at a time. And then you can even just dip, woo! <laughs> yeah, let's use that piece. It's calling its name. It wants to be chosen. I always forget this, this is so messy. Anyways, so here, here we go. So we go like this. We're just gonna lay our first piece on and use the other brush and dab a little bit. And then at the very end, you are gonna go over this with another coat. So this is just sort of just to get it tacked on and then you can move it around as you go. You're just gonna smooth that down with all this wonderfulness. And it does dry clear, so don't worry about it being all white. Once it's all completely dried, it will be clear. Okay, and then let's do, we've got all the fall colors. And you can definitely rip them ahead of time. And this is great for the kids because it doesn't matter what size, your big size, little sizes, whatever. That's the fun of it. So here, let's just rip up a bunch of them. Fall is definitely my favorite out of all. <laughs> all the seasons, even though it is kind of hot, but just it's just so beautiful. And these colors are gorgeous. So we're sort of playing with it today, just seeing what we've got going on and wishing it was fall already, even though it's summer. <laughs> and my kids are outside in the water. We'll add a little bit of green in. And then, if you missed the part where, why are we doing this? This is going to be a gratitude jar. So. After it's all decorated, after it's all decorated, you will, throughout the month of November, be able to put in the little bits of paper and fill them out of, you know, something that you're grateful for that day. And then by Thanksgiving, you'll have a jar full of things to be grateful for. And if you want, you can even open them up on Thanksgiving and decide. Let's put this one in there. We need a little bit of glue. And it can go around on the bottom too. It doesn't matter. It's okay. It's more fun just to figure it out. And you can use your fingers. But you know what? I'm just going to show you guys with, the, with this anyways. And so you're just going to continue this all the way around. Because they're just oh so cute. Wah! So this bottle in particular is kind of running out. But it's just my little tester bottle. <laughs> Here, we'll just kind of lob this on and just layer it. And yes, it does look messy. That's the fun of it. It's a collage. It's not supposed to be all lined up super neat. We're just gonna get the glue and then it'll be even easier. And so if you don't worry about glue around your kids, then go ahead and let them do it on their own or they can, you know, do it with you. See, now I'm gonna use my fingers. Let's do, you know what, here. I'm gonna add it down here a little bit. And they can overlap. Let's do, let's do another green. And remember, we're gonna do another layer of this afterwards, so it's gonna be fun. And it's a small enough jar that you don't have to worry about, you know, a whole lot of mess and time. It's a really fun one and it's easy and there's no right or wrong way to do it. You're just decorating. 
and it's great to get the kids involved, ripping the papers, spreading the glue, and just dabbing these on. You can even like move them around a little bit because the glue is still wet. It's just so fun. Let's do a more yellow right here. And then after this, you can also either at the same time or beforehand, you can sort of look ahead and see which of the ones you want to kind of cut out and decorate with. I'm going to need more orange, I think. Let's put this here. And it's okay if there's colors next to each other and repeating. That's the beauty of it too. Any way you want. Technically, if you even just wanted to use one solid color, you can do that too. But I like the mix of everything because fall is a bunch of colors. I like this yellow moments to join the party. So here we go. Maybe time for more red. You can see I'm kind of alternating on mine. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna cut out. I want the word gratitude jar actually on mine. So that will be something I go back and cut out. Cause no, I haven't cut it out yet. So, <laughs> and if you need to like walk away and leave this and come back and do the words and stuff later, then that is perfectly fine. But if you do want all the little bits kind of down, then I definitely recommend you do another coat of the Mod Podge on top of everything, and that sort of seals it all. Let's do some red. Maybe another yellow one up here. And here, let's do just a tiny, tiny little bit. See, just like that. I'm about to call my kids in because, you know, they're going too crazy on that water slide thing. See? definitely fall. Can't wait for this to dry clear so I can see all the colors. Kind of like a stained glass thing going on here, if we're being honest. Stay down. That's what I'm going to be. And yeah, it's just going to be so cute. Oh yeah, so here. I need to finish these bits. Yellow. We'll do a green. See how I'm just kind of have like my fingers in there. So that's an easy way to just kind of keep it where you want it. Let's see. No, so you can definitely do sizes that are bigger, smaller, whatever your kid and you want to do. Especially to keep some happy ripping papers. Heck yes. You can do like little uh, confetti almost. That would be really cool. some green right here. And we'll get some more yellow up here. I need some more Mod Podge. And we'll do a little bit of orange there. Shoot, is it right here that I was gonna do orange? <laughs> I lost the spot. It'll come back. Okay, so in this part right here. I like the look where they're all alternating colors, if you can't tell. And that's an actual spot. In any spots. Okay, 
Let's do... Especially because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put the gratitude jar words and maybe some sunflowers and a something else. We'll see. So it's like, mm, fill in all of our little spots in case. Oh, good. I do have more in this bottle. I <laughs> wasn't sure. Let me go and grab more. Just stick that down. Mm, let's get a long red piece. That way, see how it's like a little skinny blip. All right. Now, some places it's hard to tell if we missed it or if it's just drying. <laughs> Alrighty, I think that's good enough. <laughs> A little perfectionism going on here. It's okay. Alright, so we're going to make that done. Look, it's so cute. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these out to decorate. So I've cut out a few things. Let's see if they are going to work like I think. So we're gonna go ahead and choose wherever. See, this is a big thing. <gasps> look, I think it's gonna look great right there. So we can go ahead and let's do it this way. You can either put glue straight down there and then put it on, or you can just kind of cover the back in, in the Mod Podge. And then we can do a little bit more on top after. Oh, that's a goopy part. All right, so we're just gonna do this, make it extra bendy. Do, 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 do. Okay, so here, let's see. Grab our little jar. Oops. Maybe don't put it on upside down. <laughs> and you can put it straight, you can put it angled, whatever you and the kids want. That's the fun part. We're just gonna decorate extra and press it around. Okay, so there we go. And let's try and put some over it. I'm not too worried about it because remember we're gonna do like a final layer after too. So maybe this will help get it. Especially because it's the cardstock, so. With all the help. So just be patient with it, kind of hold it down. Give it a minute to figure out what the heck you want it to do. Kind of do this a little bit. Use your fingers to push it down. Use the paintbrush to kind of push it down. And then you can do the same thing for any other pieces that you wanted to cut out. So I chose some of the sunflowers because that is my favorite. Ever. You can try and do it smooth. Woo! All the extra. Ta da! <laughs> Alright, so now let's see what else we have. So I got this little cute little pumpkin. <laughs> Here, we'll just kind of dip. And let's add in. Let's add in this little pumpkin thing right here. It was just so cute. All right, let's get it bent. Some of these don't want to bend, but it's okay. 
we will convince them that they want to stay on one way or another. So that's why I make sure that you guys put this somewhere where you won't touch it while it dries. So it really solidifies. Be generous with it. <laughs> this is gonna be so cute. This little pumpkin. <laughs> okay, now let's do, let's see if I can get a little bit more out of this one. And I have to open the next bottle. I think I want to do, maybe we'll try just bending, pre-bending the paper a little bit until I know what we want to do. Whoop. Like this. Put it on right here. Ah, much better. And that really will get it. Okay. Especially if you do this when it's still hot, it's gonna dry pretty fast. <laughs> Just as I was cutting out the other parts to pick, it was already drying pretty good. Here, let's put the little scarecrow. We'll just alternate for a little scarecrow guy right here. <laughs> They're just so happy. <laughs> and see how I didn't even worry about cutting it out all the way. I left the kind of white background in there just for some extra fun. We want to put, oh, I forgot I had the little pumpkin, pumpkin pie. We're going to put pumpkin pie right there because that is one of my favorite Thanksgiving things is pumpkin pie. That and grasshopper pie and green bean casserole. If you were wondering, we're just going to dip and pumpkin pie, squish. And then the last one that I'm going to be doing put this little one right here. It's one last little cutie patootie. Let's see. Perfect fit. Okay. You just kind of do this all over. And if you wanted these to overlap each other, just like we overlap the papers, uh, you can definitely do that. I'm just gonna get it everywhere. And then after this, we're gonna kind of go over with the final layer and then we are going to leave it alone. You can either spend a lot of time on this or a little bit of time on this. I am turning this into more time than I originally planned. I'm just having so much fun. I thought, oh, I'm gonna do this quick and easy, just bada bing, bada boom. And then I had to keep stopping and starting for my kids, so, you know. Okay, now we're gonna go around and sort of coat it more. Let's see if there's any spots we really missed to keep everything locked in.
Okay, we're gonna turn. Do it on the bottom, lock it in. My sisters and my brother and my mom and my dad and my mom. <laughs>